So this video today is a pet themed video. Clearly Milo doesn't want to be in it, but we're going to start with him. Come here you. So, this is Milo. Say hello. He, he's not impressed. And the first thing I bought was this t-shirt. Now normally I'm not into putting animals in clothes, but in our kitchen it's very cold and that's where he usually sleeps at night so I thought okay, just get him something a little extra to make him a bit warmer and now I think this is lovely I think it's actually really cute but the one thing I don't like about it being English we smell mummy differently we usually spell it with a U but there wasn't that option so we've been stuck with the American version but it's a really nice material they did do different sizes depending on the size of your cat or dog if you wanted to buy it for your dog but I really like it and actually Milo doesn't mind it either do you? Bye. So the next item I'm going to be reviewing is the one behind me. It's this cat bed here. Now this, I was unsure whether Milo would actually like it or not. Hi guys, Hi. so... <laughs> Today we have Milo. Yeah, nice one Milo. Um, so you may have seen on my Instagram that I bought this, the Sunny Sea window mounted cat bed. And I just couldn't wait to put it up, so I did. Look at that. Stars aren't on, not tonight. But we're going to force Milo into it. Milo! Look at your adoring public. Nope, miserable cat. <laughs> anyway, right, we're going to try and force him onto it. Be right back. Right, so Milo looks really interested. We're going to see. If you'll take to it. Oh. 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 So this is supposed to be able to hold 50 pounds. Oh my god. He loves it. <laughs> oh god, the noises. <laughs> I'm scared my cat's going to die. Milo! <laughs> <laughs> It won't go up any higher. Oh. He's loving it. He does like it. He He's loving it. it. Oh my god. <gasps> Did you guys see that? He's loving it. Oh my god. £13 well spent. Oh, is my leg going up there? Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Good boy. Is that your special place? Is that your special place? He's like, what do we do now? <laughs> Lie down then. <laughs> He's looking at me thinking, but mum said there'd be treats up here. He didn't need any treats, he loved it. Good boy. Good boy. He absolutely loves it. <laughs> and as you can see, Milo absolutely adores it. At first he was a little bit unsure and we had a few teething issues with suction cups. It comes with four suction cups for each window, uh, for each wire and at the back here. And I found that for Milo he preferred it with like a cardigan and it just makes the fabric a bit softer for him. But whenever he comes upstairs now, he runs to my window and jumps on there and he absolutely adores it. Do you want to go back on your bed? Let's see if we'll go back on it. There we go. <laughs> You're not impressed, are you? Oh! Just like that. <laughs> So the next item I got is again for Milo. He does being a long-haired cat, he probably should have been brushed a lot more when he was a kitten, but working full time I didn't have really have the opportunity. So he doesn't particularly like being brushed. So the next item I got was one of these gloves. Now I've seen a lot that these gloves are really good and animals prefer it. And we're gonna give it a go. 
shall we? Yeah. Okay, so let's take this off. Come on. <laughs> People are going to think I'm abusing you. Stop it. As you can tell, he clearly enjoyed that. So it comes with the nice rubber front. You could choose it in different colours, but I chose pink. Uh, it's got a nice Velcro uh, wrist strap so that when you put it on, it will keep on nicely. So we're going to give this a go and see what he thinks. Well, I definitely think he prefers... I think he's a bit confused, actually. <laughs> but I think he prefers it to a normal brush. You know, it's, it's probably a lot nicer than, you know, metal pins being jabbed into your skin as you're being brushed. So I definitely think he prefers it, absolutely. And it, it's not doing a bad job with picking up the fur. I don't know if you can see that there. So it does a lot better job of getting up the fur. And that'll be nicer for Milo, really. And it just means I can stroke him. Oi! So the next item I got, I probably could have made myself, but... I was just too lazy really. Milo loves playing with the uh, the belt on my dressing gown so I just got him a simple rainbow ribbon cat wand. So let's get him on the bed. Milo! Come here! What's this? No I really don't want you going for my lights. Come here! Oh <laughs> sorry Milo. Okay. And I know he does not seem very interested today. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it's just a simple bit of ribbon. You know, he, he'll enjoy playing with it. I'll enjoy teasing him with it. You know, he will go a bit mad over it. But not <laughs> as mad as this next item I've got to show you. Milo, let go of this one now. I've got another item to show them, haven't I? Your new favourite toy. So now we've got the devil in him a little bit. The next item we've got is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But Milo loves it. So it's this cute little pink, uh, like cushiony, plushy toy. It's supposedly filled with catnip and I think it is. Because Milo has had this because I wanted to see how he would react. And I'll just put it down in front of him and we'll, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> he absolutely adores it. No, wrong stuff. This one. He absolutely loves it. He got... You know, he doesn't usually play with toys, but he just absolutely loves this pink catnip plushie. He goes mental for it. So that was really good, and I'm really pleased with that one. So I've got two more items to talk about. One item, unfortunately, I can't show you, because my landlord's dog, Lulu, she's already lost it. I bought her a light-up ball. I did, however, manage to take a little video on my phone, which I'll put in now. Squished a bit, so I'm not impressed with that. It's like that bit's already coming off, so I might have to glue that down. But it does light up, so it's kind of come out a bit now. So, shall we find out if Lulu likes it? Is this for you? Is this for you? Lulu, shall we go in the garden? Let's go in the garden. Come on. Oi! So clearly she likes it. Let's find out. Lulu. She's a, not a very good dog at actually getting it. Good girl! Come here! Oi! <laughs> Lulu, come here! Give! She's not very good at giving. Good girl! Good girl! You want the ball? You want the ball? Go get it! There we go. She absolutely adores that ball. She loves balls. I knew she'd like it. That's perfect. So the next item I got is this Bluetooth tracker. Now it looks like there are some instructions in there. Let's have a look at those. Right, so. That side is all Chinese. 
so so we have to download an app I don't know if you can see on there and then click twice and then okay cool so I'm gonna set this all up and I'll be back with you right I'm back so I've downloaded the app so the next thing I need to do is hold the button for three seconds and it should make a beep right so that says it's on so what I need to do now is to go into the devices and connect it so I need to connect in the device okay I'm gonna try and leave the camera I don't know what that was okay but it took me about 10 minutes to work it out but I finally got it connected and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect it to Milo Milo yeah there he is and I'm gonna use this as a good time to change his collar because he does need a collar change so bear with me two minutes and I'll hang it on him Milo, we're gonna change your colour. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Come on, let's pull it over your head. Everyone's gonna think on the. That's it. Good boy. So it does look quite big on the collar, but I'm sure he won't mind. I've just put it on the um, key ring like that, so hopefully that won't be too bad. Come here. No, come here. Come on, push it through. Push your head through. That's it. Ah, you were naked. That didn't show everyone. Don't worry. But he does not look too impressed. So I'm just going to check it's not too tight. Cool. I can get two fingers underneath. So this one's now going to go in the bin. That one's quite old and tatty. Do you like your new colour? No. Okay. Fair enough. But this means I can, you know, keep an eye on him. Sometimes he doesn't come home for, like, particularly in the summer. He stays out a lot. I'm not just worried where he is. You know, I live right by a bus route, and. I just hope, you know, I sometimes get scared. So that's why I've bought this. And I'll get back to you on how well it works. I've checked the location on it. And that seems to work really well. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. So when I came home, it looked perfect normal. Except the blue light was flashing. And for some reason it wouldn't turn off. And I couldn't work out why, so I decided to pull the battery out. And I don't know if you can see in there, try and get my phone to focus. It is wet. I am not impressed. This has been on Milo all day. All day. I pulled the battery out and the back was absolutely soaking wet. I did wipe it off, but you can see where the battery's almost exploded. I'm not impressed. I'm going to be putting in a massive complaint because that is not safe. So I do not recommend buying this at all. Don't touch it with a barge pole. So this is the last item we've got. It's one of the LED collars you may have seen round and about on Facebook or on Instagram whatever and I'm really surprised at how well it's made it's really sturdy and I don't think it's going to be easily broken and if I can ask for the lights to be turned off I can show you the different settings it's got right so we've got three settings on this oh I forgot there's lights behind me uh, we've got three settings on this which is a rapid flash a slow flash and a solid now we took Lulu out for a walk at about 9 o'clock at night and we tried this one as well and she absolutely, well I don't know if she really loved it but I did myself. Uh, can we have the lights back on please? Thank you very much. So it was just so cute watching her run around you know and just seeing this pink glow. So I knew at all times where Lulu was and I've got a little video which I can show you as well. So that's it for our pet wish haul. As you can see, most of the items were fairly cheap. The most expensive one was this one behind me, which I believe was about £13. I can't quite remember. Um, but I think they were all well money well worth spent. And just so that we can leave on a happy note, let's go back to Milo. Bye, bye.
entonces that is showing me up now <laughs> okay yeah that'll do thank you